Hi everyone, my name is Kay Kaltop and welcome to a Stamping to Share video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to finish the project that I'm making with the Merriest Wishes stamp set and the coordinating framelits. And so this is what that looks like. This is the stamp set. I absolutely love these little falling dots. And then there's a couple of greetings in there and just some little things that you can cut out with the coordinating framelit set. And so you can make adorable little tags. In fact, this is one of the tags that I made just a couple days ago and showed you in a video. I'll put the link in there and of course how to make the popper box. Now today we're going to make a coordinating card to go with that. And this card can be so much more than a Christmas card. If you happen to have any nature lovers in your family, this is a beautiful card to give them. And I left the inside blank because I thought, um, I'm just going to stamp the sentiment for the occasion. So if I need it for a birthday card, I can use a birthday sentiment. Or if I want to go ahead and turn it into a Christmas card, I can do that also just as easily. And so let's go ahead and get started making this card. So let me move this out of the way. And our card base is going to be crumb cake. This is five and a half by eight and a half, and then I've gone ahead and scored it at four and one fourth. So I'm just going to use my bone folder, work folding towards the score line give that a nice press on the back here and we'll set this aside for a minute because we have a couple more layers so the first layer that we're going to work with is a four by five and one fourth inch piece of basic black there's going to be a soft suede layer over this the soft suede layer is cut at three and three fourths by five inches and then we're going to run this through the big shot machine with our softly falling embossing folder I've already gone ahead and done that and when you take it out you have all of these little tiny dots and it looks sort of like snow falling in the distance and so the next piece that gets layered over this is a piece of our This Christmas Designer Series paper and that also coordinates with the little popper box that I created the other day. And so this paper is cut at one and a half by three and three fourths. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take some multi-purpose liquid glue and I'm just going to put a nice little frame all the way around of glue on the back of that piece of designer series paper. We're going to put this right here on top of our soft suede paper and we're going to cover where the majority of the dots are because we want just a softly falling look in the background. And so we'll go ahead, press that on, and then we can go ahead, take multi-purpose liquid glue again, and we'll just do a little frame of glue around the back side of the soft suede paper. And we're going to set this right here onto our basic black, again, making sure that all four borders are nice and even. The nice thing about glue, of course, is you can wiggle it into place. The next thing that we're going to do is take some linen thread and we're going to wrap that around the panel that's going to be attached to our card base. So we want to do that before we attach it. So I have some linen thread and we are just going to take it and I'm going to hold about six inches away and we'll hold this right onto the card and then we're going to wrap it around three times and one more time and then let me go ahead and grab a scissors I'll cut that off leaving myself about another six seven inches and then I'm just going to go ahead and tie that into a bow I'm not so concerned about exactly where the bow is at this point because I can I know I can move that around now just to keep my bow from slipping and because I don't have a friend here to help me hold this in place I like to just go ahead and tie this into a knot first and then I've got it secure so then at this point I can kind of move it into place right where I want it on my card and so we'll just kind of scooch it up here a little bit and then I'll go ahead and I'll tie it into a bow and now we can go ahead and secure this to the front panel of our card so to do that I'm going to take four dimensionals and we're just going to put those into the corners and that gives it a little bit of lift, a little bit of breathing room, especially since we have this thread running through the back. I don't like that really tight look that you would get by gluing it down. So we're just going to add a couple of dimensionals on the back here, and we'll put this right here on the front panel of our card. And now all we need to do is add our medallion and the card will be done. So the medallion that we're going to create is actually a tag from the Mary Tag Framelits. 
and this is the one we're going to use and I am going to get the big shot in here because when I made the tag for the popper project I did go ahead and using this framelit there's so many little pieces to pop out that I did use the precision plate however if you'll notice this particular tag that we're going to be using is actually quite a bit more loose and airy so you don't need to use the precision plate if you don't want to and so what I'm using is um, the regular platform that comes with your Big Shot machine and if you don't have this one that has the thin die adapter I highly suggest getting it because there is a little bit of a bump in the main part of the platform now so that gives it a little more lift when you're rolling it through the Big Shot machine and that allows for more intricate cuts and then of course you'll need your thin die adapter and then you'll need your cut plate which we're going to put on right now you'll need a small scrap of black paper which I have right here and then I have my little framelit that we're going to set right there we'll put the cut plate that I don't actually use for cutting over the top and we're going to roll this through the Big Shot machine Now we'll take this off and you'll be able to see just how easily this works. Now I still go ahead and I use my die brush, which I have the foam pad in a wood mount stamp case. I'm going to put this right here. I'll take my die brush and I'll just roll this over all the top, all the dots across the top. And then we can just poke this out and you'll see that it comes out really quite easily. So let me pull this away. And we have our deer cutout along with the, the little evergreen trees in the background. And so now I do have one prepared, so let me set this aside for a minute because we also need to prepare a crumb cake piece. And so here's just a scrap of crumb cake. I'm going to ink up those falling dots and I'm going to ink that up with crumb cake ink so it's tone on tone. Then we're going to take our two inch circle punch and just punch out a little mini snowstorm. So it looks just like this. And this is what we're going to layer our die cut right over the top of. So I'm going to use a little multi-purpose liquid glue and we'll just add a couple dots here where the deer is and onto these pine trees and then just a little skinny bit up along this little tiny edge and so now I'll just take my handle I'll put it right here and again the nice thing about glue is I can make sure that's wiggled into place and there we go we have our little deer and there's a little bit of snowflakes falling in the background now because I want this more of a medallion look and not so much a tag look I'm just going to take my paper snips and we'll trim this tag flush so that we have a medallion and now it's ready to go onto our card so we'll just add a couple of dimensionals to the back We'll bring our card back into the picture and we'll set this right here We'll just make sure that the ground is just a tad bit above where the um, designer series paper is on this card. Give it a little press and our card is complete. So this is a card I've just done for you. Here is the card I had done in advance. I truly appreciate you. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If you're interested in placing a Stampin' Up! product order, please visit my blog at www.stampingtoshare.com and there's links there that will take you right to my online store. Have a great day. Bye-bye.